I've always wanted an elevator in Astroneer because why not? It's a good way to save hydrazine, it's funny and super convenient for lazy people like me. But it's not going to be a smooth ride, I'm telling you. I showed it in my preceding video, so if you want to learn how to build one, let's start, it's going to be very simple. If you would like me to make more content, please consider subscribing and a super thanks to all those who already subscribed to my other channel, Kuya Game Adventures. This allows me to create more videos. We'll start by placing some medium platforms all over the cliff we want to cross. To space the platforms correctly, you are going to need an auto arm. Make sure that the pickup and placing down areas reach into the next platform. Place an auto arm on the platform at the bottom and place more auto arms every other platform. What an army! And sometimes auto arms become auto legs and just run away. At the top of the cliff, add a couple more auto arms. This will ensure that the globe does not get stuck in the void. It never feels good to get stuck on a 60 feet cliff. Speaking about the gravity globe, you'll need to find one. Look for it at the abandoned landing path. Again, if you want to know more about the gravity globe, watch my preceding video. Now let's create the actual lift cabin. Grab a large square platform and place one of the most epic and unreliable objects ever in Astroneer, the winch. Like the video if you love winches, I know you do. Actually, let's double the fun and add a second one, facing the opposite way. Now we want the other arms to move the structure, and we're going to do this by using some cheap resource. It could be any resource, I could recommend a cheap one, like quartz, so that you don't waste precious material. Place a piece of quartz on each auto arm filter slot so that it's going to pick up that resource only. Now attach the pin of one of the winches to a piece of quartz and attach the other winch to the gravity globe. Connect all platforms to each other and switch all auto arms on. You know they're on if they show their muscles. Now provide some power, it doesn't really matter how much, just any amount of power will pretty much do the work. Just slightly faster if you provide more. A common issue is that the auto arm grabs the course, but the platform is anchored to the ground so it won't move. To solve this, you need to place the platform anywhere but the ground. You can do that by, for example, placing the platform on top of the gravity globe. Make sure the course is in the pickup area of the first auto arm and the contraption is going to work. Whee! If the first auto arm struggles to detect the course, you may add a couple of platforms in front of it to expand the range on the surface. If you're not able to get to the top because you get stuck, consider adding a couple of platforms and auto arms to make the line longer. Honestly, I don't know how safe this is gonna be, so let me have someone else try it instead. Looks like we have a volunteer! Don't worry, it's gonna be safe for Princess because she can provide invincibility. And I know you love Princess, so I wouldn't put her in a dangerous situation. I might need some sort of invincibility too, given the hits you get going up in that thing. Maybe I should get some kind of insurance. Now it's my turn, whenever the other arms pick up the course, I can just jump into the gravity globe and enjoy the ride. As you can see, the elevator works like a charm, and now we can safely use it anytime we want. If you want to, you can remove the globe and have a platform with some storage instead or whatever you need to move. This design can only bring items up, so if you want to bring them back as well, you will need to build a second line of auto arms that are pointing to the opposite way. Just copy exactly what you have done with the other line, but with the auto arms pointing to the opposite direction. Like any elevator, we need buttons to go up or down. Make sure power goes through two power switches. One should be on and the other off. Connect them to the platform by extending the cables so that the arrows point into the platforms themselves. Now we're going to need three button repeaters. Place one roughly in the middle for easier access. Extend the pin and attach it to both power switches. Now add a button at the bottom and one at the top. Hey, come over here! I'm very good at aiming and clicking, ain't I? Both buttons should be attached to the central button. Now you can invert the signals of the auto arms lines. Either the one that takes you up is on, or the one that takes you down. This will ensure that course is not taken immediately once deposited. 
I haven't made this contraption yet, but I have seen this design on the social. I just have adapted it by adding the gravity globe. I think you might enjoy this next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my new channel so that you don't miss my live streams and stay safe. Follow me on all platforms.